Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ashland High School as we bring you Ashland Legion Baseball on HCAM Television and Hopkinton and WACA TV in Ashland as 0 and 3 post 77. Welcome in Lowell post 87 for today's battle. It is a gorgeous day here for baseball temperatures in the low 80s. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call to bring you Ashland Legion Baseball as they seek their first win of the season. Let's take a look at the Lowell Post 87 batting order. Stepping in and leading things off is the center fielder Keith Lynch. Batting second, playing right field is Fred Kazalski. The shortstop is Chris Seidel. Catcher batting cleanup, Alex Cruz. The designated hitter hitting fifth, Joe Chuck May. The third baseman hitting sixth is Davey LeBron. Hitting seventh, the first baseman, Henry Fanaro. Batting eighth, the left fielder, Dalton Quinn. And hitting ninth, the second baseman, Zach Glitchier. And the pitcher for Lowell out of the batting order is Mike McCory as Miles DeSoni set to deliver for post 77, the first pitch of the game. And it is going to be ball one to Keith Lynch, the center fielder. Let's take a look at the post 77 field. Miles DeSoni on the mound, Zach Jacobs behind the plate as he is set to deliver. There's ball two. Sean Babineau, the first baseman. Mitch Porter at second base. Mike Messier, the shortstop. Ronan Bates, the third baseman. From left to right, Andrew Kime, Brad Seymour, and Jake Obid for Ashland post 77. As this is hit into left field, and that is going to be a fair ball down the line, rounding first base as the ball will roll all the way to the fence, and that is going to be a stand-up leadoff double for Keith Lynch. Bring up Fred Kozalski, the right fielder, with one on and no outs. A little bit of a late start to this afternoon's game. Heavy, heavy traffic coming from Lowell. So they were a little late getting here. As that will be a pretty typical problem in this zone is the commutes. A lot of the teams based in the Boston area as DeSoni is set to deliver, runner leading off of second slightly, the leg lift and the pitch. That's fouled away, 0-1 oh, to Fred Kozalski, the right fielder. Kozalski is at a Drake at high school. DeSoni from the stretch. And that one's fouled away, 0-2. Oh, the Sony awaits the sign and now set to deliver. Wind up and the pitch. And he's going to hit the batter there. Fred Kozelski takes one for the team. He'll get a free pass to first base, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Chris Seidel. So now two on with no outs. As here in the top of the first, Lowell is threatening. As Seidel awaits the pitch, that one's fouled away. Seidel was a 2015 graduate of Drake High School as there's a strike. 0 oh, and 2. Miles Dasani is expected to be the ace of this post-77 team. Had a good pitcher's battle in the first game of the season that resulted 
And a one nothing Ashland loss as this is hit into left field. And that is going to get down for a hit and load up the bases for post 87. So a single for Seidel. Kozelski moves up to second, Lynch up to third. Alex Cruz to the plate as the cleanup catcher will step in. Big opportunity here to get some early momentum for Lowell. Lowell 3-0 and on the season, Ashland 0-3. Sony set to deal. And this is a high fly ball to right field. And that is going to be caught. A nice catch by Obid. But the runner is going to tag and score. And it is one to nothing, Lowell. So Cruz gets the job done with an RBI sacrifice fly out to right field. As Lynch comes around to score. Kozelski up to third. Seidel stays put at first and that'll bring up Joe Chuck May the designated hitter so one nothing Lowell Lee to start things off one out in the top half of the first Disoni set to deal lined up and the pitch there's a strike, 0 oh and 1. From the stretch, leg lift and the pitch. Strike 2, blazing fastball. Runner leading off of first as Sony takes a look and deals. Ball one. One and two now on Chuck May. Wide up and the pitch runner taking off from first. This is on the ground. That's going to get into right field. Another post 87 run is going to come around to score as the lead runner slides into third. And that is going to be an RBI base hit for the designated hitter, Joe Chuck May, as Kozelski comes around to score, Seidel up to third. And that'll bring up Davey LeBron, the third baseman. Now a 2-0 lead for Lowell with one out in the inning. Braun out of Lowell High School, 2016 graduate. We'll check in at first, and a runner back safe throw almost got away. Two on, one out, two runs in for Lowell here in the top of the first. Wind up and the pitch. On the ground, right side, that is going to roll into right field. It's 3 nothing. Lowell. Lead runner now heading over to third. The throw in is to third, and it's an RBI single for Davey LeBron. So Seidel comes around to score. Chuck May up to third. Henry Fanaro to the plate, still one out. Nice way to get things going for Lowell. As now we'll have a meeting on the mound with the post-77 infield. As they'll talk things over, try to settle down Miles to Sony. Well, one thing about this Lowell post-87 team, they can certainly hit with a very solid lineup. And some very good pitching as well on this post-87 squad. As Finaro steps back in. Runner leading off of first as DeSoni set to deal. There's a strike. 0 oh and 1.
Like checking at first, runner back safe. Sony deals upstairs. One and one. As Fanaro steps back in. Fanaro set to graduate Lowell High School next year. That one's fouled away. One and two. Sony delivers just inside. Two and two. Leg left and the pitch, and this is hit high in the air to right field, ranging over, not able to make the catch. That is a fair ball, another low run around a score. Lead runner up to third. And it is a four to nothing lead for post 87 as Joe Chuck May comes around on the RBI single from Henry Fanaro. Davy LeBron moves up to third. That'll bring up Dalton Quinn, the left fielder. Still only one out in the inning. Sony deals, and this is hit into center field. Catch is made, runner tagging from third and is going to score. Dalton Quinn gets the job done, a sacrifice fly out to center field as Davey LeBron comes around to score the fifth Lowell run of the afternoon. And Lowell has batted around as Zach Litchier will come up to the plate. The second baseman steps in as the Sony set to deliver. That one down low. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch. And that is hit foul. Just above us. Sony takes a look at first and deals. Check swing, couldn't hold, one and two. Leg lift and the pitch. And there's strike three. That'll end the top half of the first, but not before. Low plates, five runs. And as we head to the bottom of the first, post 77 with some work to do, trailing five to nothing. Bottom of the first inning, Jake Obid, the right fielder, stepping in to face Mike Mercury, the pitcher. As Mercury is set to deliver, first pitch of the bottom of the first, post 77 finds themselves in a 5 nothing hole to start as their strike one. Post 77 batting order is as follows. Jake Obid, the right fielder, starting things off right now, and we'll get you the rest after this pitch from Mike Mercury, the righty, as there is a sh pitch that is going to be down low, one and one. Mitch Porter, the second baseman, batting second. Sean Babineau, the first baseman, batting third. Zach Jacobs, the catcher in the cleanup spot. Mike Messier, the shortstop, batting fifth. The windup and the pitch fouled away. Trevor Gustafson is the designated hitter, hitting sixth. Andrew Keim, the left fielder, hitting seventh. Ronan Bates, third baseman, hitting eighth. Brad Seymour, the center fielder, hitting ninth. Four post 77. Windup and the pitch. 
There is strike three. One away, and that'll bring up Mitch Porter, the second baseman. Beautiful sunny afternoon. Temperatures in the low 80s here at Ashland High School. And this will be the last Ashland home game at the high school. We'll move over to the middle school for their next home game, which is nine days from now on the 29th. Quite a few road games coming up. And then the last week of the season, they have four home games. As there's a strike. We'll give you the uh, post 87 diamond in just a moment. As Mercury set to deliver. There is another strike. That's going to make it one and two. The battery for a little post 87 is Mike Mercury and Alex Cruz. At first base, at first base, it's Henry Fanaro. Second base, Zach Litchier. Shortstop. After this, and there is a ball up high. The shortstop is Chris Seidel. Third baseman, Davey LeBron. From left to right, Dalton Quinn, Keith Lynch, and Fred Kozalski for post 87. Mercury set to deliver. And there's another ball just high. Full count now on Mitch Porter. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the third base side in fair play. Throw over to first. A little bit low, but handled nicely. Five to three. Two away, Sean Babineau to the plate. Mike Mercury, the pitcher, is out of Central Catholic High School, graduated this year. Six foot one, 200 pounder. A hard throwing righty. Sean Babineau steps in. There's a strike. Sean Babineau, a 2016 graduate of Ashland High School. As this is going to be hit over to the pitcher, throw over to first, not a problem. A 1-3 to three for Babineau, and that'll retire the bottom half of the first. To the top of the second we go, Lowell with the 5-0 lead. Top half of the second inning. Lowell will step back up to the plate. With the five to nothing lead, as Miles DeSoni hoping for a much better inning than the first inning. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by WPC Pest Control. Don't tolerate, eliminate your pest problem. You can find them online at WPCPest.com. Wind up and the pitch on the ground up third base side. That's going to get through for a base hit. A good dive by Ronan Bates, but not quite able to get to it. And Keith Lynch is two for two on the day. Hit a double and scored a run in the first, and now with a single in the second. That'll bring up Fred Kozalski. Runner leading off of first, check in, runner back. Line up and the pitch, down low. One and oh. Sad to deliver. Lefty will take ball two. Fred Kozalski was hit by a pitch in the first inning and ended up scoring a run. That one upstairs. 
Riando Count. Zelski out of Drake at high school. Graduate next year. There's a strike. Sony set to deal. Runner leading off of first, and this is hit into left field. That is going to drop down for a base hit, and then it is going to be bobbled in left field, and the lead runner will head to third. Kozelski heads to second on the bobble. It is a single, and then he heads to second on the error. So Lynch at third, Kozelski at second. Two runners in scoring position, no outs. Chris Seidel to the plate, the shortstop. Hit a single in the first and scored a run. Now with a big opportunity here is head coach Derek Johnson and the catcher, Zach Jacobs, will have a few words for DeSoni. No warm-up action yet for post-77. So they're going to leave him out there and see if he can work through this rough patch. More than likely, anyway. So let's take a look at the standings so far in uh, District 5 Legion Baseball. As we are at the beginning of the season, Newton is on top at 4-0. and Lowell just behind them, 3-0. and Half game behind. Hudson two and one. Natick is two and two. Woburn is one and one. As DeSony set to deliver. We'll get you the rest of the standings after this. There's a swinging strike. Sudbury and Tingsboro have not played a game yet. They went deep into the high school playoffs. North Chelmsford 0 and two. Bill Ricca 0 and three. And Ashland 0 and three. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Certainly a long way to go, though, here in this season. To Sony from the stretch. Leg lift and the pitch. Fouled away. Count will remain 0 and 2. Seidel hoping to continue the run scoring here for Lowell. There is some warm-up action now for Ashland. As this is hit in the air towards the right side, and that's going to go foul. Getting loose for... Ashland is Devin Del Campo. He's set to graduate in 2018 from Ashland High School. Might get a chance to make his debut here at home tonight. As this is third base side, bobbled by Bates, picked up, throw to first in time, but one run does score for Lowell. Kozelski stays put at second base, and that is an RBI sacrifice ground out for Seidel. 6-0 Lowell. Alex Cruz to the plate. Cruz had a RBI sacrifice fly out last inning, which scored the first Lowell run of the game. That one down low. First and second, one out, another run in for Lowell. Leg lift and the pitch. Up the middle, and that is going to be handled by the second baseman. We'll step on the second base bag and throw over to first. And that was a nice job there to get the out. Kozelski pushed up to third. 
So a four to three for the second out. And now Joe Chuck Bay, the designated hitter to the plate. Lay lift and the pitch. Breaking pitch up high, one and oh. From the stretch, leg lift and the pitch. There's another breaking ball. It'll drop into the zone for strike one. One and one. Sony set to deal. Just outside, two and one. Joe Chuck May had an RBI single in the first inning. That drove in the second little run of the game. Wind up and the pitch. Grabs the inside corner, four strike two. Two and two. Sony set to deal. And this is hit into left field. That'll drop down. A seventh will run. We'll come around to score. An RBI single for Joe Chuck May as Fred Kozelski comes around. That'll bring up Davey LeBron. Seven to nothing, post 87. And we'll see if Miles Asoni's out here next inning. Runner leading off of first. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, 1 and 0. Oh. Sony deals. And then this is a high fly ball over to right field, battling the sun and making the catch. And that is going to wrap up the top half of the second inning, but not before Lowell plates two more runs. And as we head to the bottom of the second, it's Lowell 7, Ashland nothing here on WACA and HKM. Bottom of the second inning, four, five, and six hitters do up for post 77. Zach Jacobs, the catcher, will step in. Miles Mercury set to deliver. And there's a strike, or Mike Mercury, excuse me. 0 oh and 1. That one just high, one and one. Zach Jacobs out of Holliston High School, set to graduate in 2017. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Mercury deals. And this is a liner. That is going to drop into center. A leadoff single for the cleanup man, Zach Jacobs. And that will bring up Mike Messier. Messier, a 2015 graduate of Hopkinton High School, attending Clarkson College in his last year of Legion eligibility. And we'll take ball one there. Big opportunity here for Messier. Checking at first, runner slides back just safe. Jacobs taking a lead once again. Wind up and the pitch upstairs. Two and oh.
Mercury set to deal. Checking at first, runner back just safe. Good pickoff move from Mercury. That one outside, 3 and 0. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 3 and 1 now on Messier. Set to deliver. Strike two, that'll fill up the count. Good battle back by Mercury. The decisive pitch. Last minute time called. Wind up and the pitch. And this is a foul ball that'll go into the woods behind us. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs and he draws the walk. Two on, no outs, four post 77. Trevor Gustafson to the plate. Big opportunity here for post 77 to get some offensive momentum going. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Mercury looks at second and deals. Breaking pitch in there for a strike. That one's fouled away. One and two. Set to deliver. That one's fouled away. Good battle going on here between Trevor Gustafson and Mike Mercury. Set to deliver. Down low and the throw over to second. Good throw, but the runner slides back. Two and two. Mercury on the 2-2 pitch. Down low, that'll fill up the count.
Leg lift and the pitch. Fouled away. Trevor Gostafson ten, attends St. John's High School in Shrewsbury. Lives in the Ashland area. Set to graduate in 2017. As he steps back in and awaits the pitch. Mercury deals. There's ball four. The throw to third will not matter as the walk loads up the bases. Two straight walks from Mercury. And things getting interesting here in the bottom of the second as Andrew Keim will step to the plate. Bases loaded, no outs. Bull led by head coach Mike McLeod. Fouled away, 0 oh and 1. Andrew Keim at the plate now. Ronan Bates due up on deck. Keim graduated from Holliston High School this year. Takes a ball there. Six foot one, 185 pound left fielder. Can, will also be uh, one of the key starting pitchers this season for post 77. We saw him in the first home game of the year. As that one is fouled away into the woods, one and two. Wind starting to pick up a little bit here at Ashland High School. Wind blowing towards right field. Swinging strike. And there's out number one. That'll bring up Ronan Bates to third baseman. Ronan Bates set to graduate Holliston High School next year. Or excuse me, Ashland High School next year. Turns away the hitter, but it's strike one as it nicked the inside corner. Mercury deals. Ball one. Testing the inside corner on the last couple pitches. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and two. There's strike three, two away. Mercury battling back as Brad Seymour will come to the plate. Two outs, bases loaded for post 77. Brad Seymour set to graduate Holliston High School in 2018. As the young catcher takes a strike. Excuse me, the center fielder. Wide up and the pitch. Up the middle, it is gloved by the second baseman. He'll step on the second base bag to get the force out. And that is going to wrap up the inning. Ashland loads up the bases, but can't, cannot plate a run. And as we add to the top of the third, it is Lowell seven, Ashland nothing. H-Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by 
Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. You can find them online at goldenpondassistedliving.com. Top half of the third inning, post 87, set to come back up to the plate. A new pitcher in the game for post 77, Devin Del Campo in the game. Set to graduate Ashland High School in 2018 as he will look to have a little bit better luck than Miles DeSoni had today. And Ashland threatened last inning but could not play to run. They loaded up the bases with no outs. But a couple of strikeouts and a ground out got Lowell out of it with no harm done. So now Devin Del Campo will come in after Miles DeSoni pitched two innings. Gave up seven runs, all of them earned. As the first hitter stepping in is Henry Fanaro, the first baseman. Sony also gave up eight hits in his start. As Del Campo set to deal. There's a strike. Fanaro singled his last time up in the first inning. Also had an RBI. As this one is hit foul. Oh, and two. Del Campo delivers, turns away the hitter, one and two. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Lowell. Wind up and the pitch. Up the middle to the second baseman, the throw to first, not a problem, a four to three ground out. Dalton Quinn, the left fielder, will come up to the plate. Quinn had a sacrifice fly out in the first. Take strike one. Drove in the fifth low run of the game. Del Campo delivers, breaking pitch inside. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and two. The one two pitch. And this is a high fly ball over to the first base side and handled by Babino. Two way. Zach Litch here, the second baseman of the plate. Del Campo deals down low. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch, upstairs. Oh. 
is hit in the air over to left field and ranging in from center. Did he make that catch? No, he dropped it. Seymour came to a dive and the ball fell out of his glove. It's a single for Glitch here. And that was definitely a tough play to make, but a great effort out there in left center. That'll bring up the top of the order for Lowell. Keith Lynch will come to the plate, the center fielder. Two for two today, double and a single, already two runs scored. And his third consecutive inning coming to the plate. Up the left side, and that's past the dive of Ronan Bates, and that is going to be a single. So Keith Lynch continuing his great day, put, pushes Glitchier up to second. Two on, two outs, the right fielder, Fred Kozelski, coming to the plate. And hold on, no, it's foul ball, excuse me. So we'll race all that. We'll go back, late foul ball call. Del Campo set to deal. That one down low. One and one. So Keith Lynch back in there. Late foul ball call by the infield up. Del Campo set to deal. Down low. Two and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Del Campo from the stretch. Nat is going to hit Lynch, so he is going to get the free pass to first. Now Fred Kozalski will come up to the plate with two on and two outs. Runners leading off of first and second as this is hit up the middle. Glove by the second baseman and he'll step on the second base bag for the third out of the inning on the force out. We'll head to the bottom of the third. It's seven to nothing Lowell. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order coming up for Ashland. As J Michael Krupe set to step in. And it looks like we got a uh, pinch hitter for Jake Obid. It's the first pitch up high. Mercury deals, swinging strike. Well, getting some experience to some players that have not been in the starting lineup as of yet. There's a strike, one and two. And you wonder though, maybe it's either that or maybe Obid got hurt at some point. There's strike three. Hopefully that's not the case. Mitch Porter stepping in. Porter, the second baseman. That one is going to be called strike one. Wide up and the pitch. 
And this is hit in the air, foul. Oh, and two. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Set to deal. Swinging strike, blazing fastball. There's out number two. Now bring up Sean Babineau. There's a strike. Mercury having a nice game. Five strikeouts in this game so far. Strike two. Looking for strikeout number six right here. There it is. Strikes out the side. And as we head to the top half of the fourth, it's Lowell seven, Ashland nothing. Top half of the fourth inning, a 7-0 lead for Lowell. Due up are the three, four, and five hitters. Devin Del Campo will go into his second inning of work as he came in in relief in the third inning. As Chris Seidel, the shortstop, steps in. Del Campo set to deliver. And this is a high fly ball over to center field and caught. One away. That'll bring up Alex Cruz. Catcher steps in. 0 for 1 has a sacrifice fly out for a run. <laughs> that one down low. Two and O. Oh. Two O pitch. And this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first, and there's out number two. That'll bring up Joe Chuck May, the DH. Two for two, pair of singles and a pair of RBIs. Right up in the pitch. And this is lined in the center field. That's going to drop down. And it is finally picked up by Brad Seymour, a single for Chuck May. So a two out single, Davey LeBron to the plate, the third baseman, one for two with an RBI single in the first. One on, two outs for Lowell.
Campo deals. And this is a high fly ball over to right center, and it is going to be handled for the third out of the inning. We will head to the bottom of the fourth, a 7-0 lead for Lowell. HKM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Angels Garden Center, located at 65 School Street, growing in Hopkinton since 1957. You can find them online at angelsgardencenter.com. Bottom of the fourth, seven to nothing. Lowell in charge as post 77 looking for some offensive momentum as Zach Jacobs, the catcher, takes strike one. Four, five, and six do up for post 77. As Mike Mercury set to deal. There's a ball. Excuse me, the first pitch was actually ball one. There, it will make the count two and oh. 2 0 pitch. There's a strike two and one. Jacobs, Messier, and Gustafson do up for post 77. Wind up and the pitch. Up the middle, glove by the third baseman, throw to first, one away. Good job by the uh, first baseman, Henry Fanaro, keeping his foot on the bag on the high throw. And that'll bring up Mike Messier, the shortstop. Right up and the pitch, down low. One and O count. Set to deal, fouled away. Mercury deals. There's a strike, one and two. And that is off the hitter. So Messier will get the free pass to first. Trevor Gustafson will come to the plate. Messier's second time on base. He reached in the second inning on a walk. That one up high, one and oh. Sun's starting to set here at Ashland High School. Mercury from the stretch. Swinging strike, throw down the line, runner slides back safe. This game had a late start due to heavy traffic for Lowell. And already 7-17, and of course, Light could be an issue going forward here at Ashland High School if this game continues on for a long stretch of time. There's a strike one and two. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike and there's out number two. That'll bring up Andrew Keim. Time struck out his only time up back in the second inning. Mm -hmm. 
And this is up the middle. That'll get by the third baseman, but the shortstop picks it up high throw. That is going to be too high. Throw down to second. They almost got the runner sliding back to second. So Keim with a single. Messier pushes up to second. Ronan Bates to the plate with two outs, two on. Bates struck out his only time up back in the second. That one down low, 1-0. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch, 2-0. and oh. Set to deliver. And this is up the middle. Handled by Mercury. Now drop. Little flip to first. No problem. And that will wrap up the fourth inning. Seven to nothing Lowell as we head to the fifth. Top half of the fifth inning. Lowell with a seven nothing lead. Devin Del Campo out there for his third inning of work since coming in for post 77 in the third inning to take over for Miles DeSoni who struggled giving up all seven runs, five in the first, two in the second. Henry Fanaro, the first baseman, steps in. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh and one. Campo deals, breaking pitch, grabs the inside corner. Del Campo's done a nice job since coming in in relief for DeSoni. Has faced the threat in both innings he's worked, but has gotten through it unharmed. Is that breaking pitch a little too far on the inside? One and two. Seven, eight, and nine do up for Lowell. And that breaking pitch fouled away. It's a good drop on his breaking pitches. And this is hit in the air and foul territory. Wind up and the pitch. Up the middle and fielded at short. Good throw by Messier and a nice play. Job by Messier on the six to three. That'll bring up Dalton Quinn, the left fielder. Wind up and the pitch. And this is a high fly ball over to shallow right. And handled two way. And that'll bring up Zach Glitchier, the second baseman. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. Del 
Ocampo deals. That one down low. One and one. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Del Campo gets the sign and delivers. That one inside, two and two. Glitchier, one for two today. Struck out and singled in the third. The Campo deals, and this is rocketed into right center, and it is handled in center field by Brad Seymour. So Lowell goes down, one, two, three, and we will head to the bottom of the fifth with Lowell ahead, seven to nothing. Bottom of the fifth inning as post 77 will come back up to the plate. Nine, one and two. As Brad Seymour steps in to face Mike Mercury. Mercury working with the seven nothing lead as he will deliver strike one to Seymour. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, one and one. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Set to deliver, swinging strike, there's out number one. That'll bring up Michael Krupe for post 77, came in the game for Jake Obid. Took over in right field, struck out his last time up, swinging strike there. Leg lift and the pitch. Inside, one and one. Set the deal. There's strike two, one and two. There, strike three. Krupe goes down looking. Mitch Porter to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. And that is going to go off of Porter. Took one on the back there. Well, Mercury loves to test those inside corners. And sometimes that'll happen as Sean Babineau steps in. Runner on first, two outs. Wind up and the pitch. That one's fouled away.
Mercury deals down low. 1 and 1. Checking at first, and the runner back safe, and now thought about taking off as the ball got loose, but we'll just go back to the bag. Wind up and the pitch. That is outside. Two and one now. On the lefty. Babineau 0 for 2 so far this afternoon. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. 3 and 1. He deals. That's fouled away. That'll fill up the count. Runner leading off of first. There's strike three. Mike Mercury getting another strikeout. And he is just pitching a great game this afternoon as so far he has racked up 10 strikeouts in this game as he gets all three outs via the strikeout in the bottom of the fifth. And as we head to the sixth, it's Lowell 7, Ashland nothing. HKM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Weston Nurseries, located on 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your backyard paradise. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. Top of the sixth inning, 7-0 Lowell. Top of the order due up to face Devin Del Campo in his fourth inning of work, and he has relieved Miles DeSoni very nicely as he has kept this Lowell team scoreless for the last three innings. And now we're getting a discussion on the mound, the umpire over at the Lowell bench, talking things over. Perhaps we have some Substitutions coming up for Lowell, but as of for now, they are going to send the leadoff hitter, Keith Lynch, to the plate. And then in the on deck circle, it is still Fred Kazalski. For those of you just joining us, you're watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Connor Donovan on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. It has been a beautiful afternoon for baseball, but not so beautiful for Ashland as they trail 7-0 as that pitch is down low to Lynch. Lowell scored five runs in the first inning, two in the second. And we have not had any scoring since. Wind up and the pitch, down low. 2-0. and oh. Set to deal, and this is hit in the air, foul, and out of play. Two and one. Keith Lynch having a nice game, two for two. He was also hit by a pitch, has scored two runs today. Can he continue the perfect on base percentage this game? Down low. One ball away from doing so. Three and 
3-1 pitch. Fouled away down the third base line. That'll fill up the count. Campo deals, and that one's upstairs. So Keith Lynch continues the perfect on-base percentage in this one as he walks. Fred Kozalski will now come to the plate. Kozalski is one for one. He's hit by a pitch in the first, singled in the second and also scored a pair of runs. Runner taking off from first, throw up to second is a good throw, but pulls the second baseman off the bag, a stolen base for Lynch. One and O count to Kozalski. Runner leading off of second. And this is up the middle, past the reach of the second baseman into right field. Runner held up at third, throw into home plate. So runners on the corners with no outs for Lowell. Chris Seidel, the shortstop, due up. So a single for Kozalski. Seidel one for two today, singled in the first, sacrifice RBI ground out of the second, also scored a run in the first. Runner taking off from first, throw up to second is not in time. Stolen base for Kozalski, Lynch stayed put at third. Good throw though by Jacobs, got it out there quick. And did a nice job looking at third to make sure Lynch did not take off her home plate on a double steal attempt. Wind up and the pitch, down low. Two and O. Oh. And Lowell would love to try to end this game early here and put the mercy rule into effect. as they are being aggressive on the base paths. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. Two and one count to Seidel. Campo from the stretch. And this is hit high in the air and over to shallow left field and handled. Runners will stay put, one away. That was caught by the shortstop. And it's actually uh, Ethan Tuminski who's in the game for Messier at shortstop. He did a nice job making the play. One away as this is hit right over to the second baseman and the runners stay put. Substitute second baseman as well, Trevor DePeron makes that catch. Two away. Joe Chuck made of the plate. From the stretch, breaking pitch inside. One and O. Oh. Chuck May is three for three today. Three singles. Also has a pair of RBIs. That one down low. Two and O. Oh. Del 
Campo deals. And it got a good piece of this one over to center field, and that is going to drop down. One run in and a second run, and actually that is going to uh, end up out of the ballpark. It is going to be a ground rule double. So a two RBI ground rule double for Joe Chuck May. Keith Lynch comes around and Fred Kozalski, it's nine to nothing lull. Davey LeBron to the plate. Wind up in the pitch and that's hit foul. Oh and one. Joe Chuck May more than likely going to be the player of the game today. Four for four. As head coach Derek Johnson will head over to the mound to check on Del Campo. Just making sure he's good. Four RBIs for Chuck May as well. Davey LeBron steps back in. He's one for three today. RBI single in the first, also scored a run. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field and it is going to drop in for a hit. And the 10th Lowell run will come around to score. And now the throw in, going to get past first base and then the throw to second gets into the outfield but it is stopped. So Chuck May scores, it's a Davey LeBron RBI single, moves up to second on an errant throw. Henry Fanaro to the plate. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh, and one. El Campo deals, and that is hit. Foul. Oh, and two. This game just about two hours old. As Del Campo set to deal. He deals, that's it foul. Count will remain 0 and 2. Henry Fanaro awaits the pitch. He also had an RBI single in the first. And is going to drive this one into right field, but it is caught. So that is going to be the final out of the top half of the six. But Lowell plates three runs, and as we head to the bottom of the six, it's 10 to nothing. Bottom half of the sixth inning, Ashland trailing 10 to nothing, four, five, and six hitters do up. As Mike Messier back out on the mound, he's racked up 10 strikeouts in this game. And he has pitched an absolute gem for Lowell Post 87, who has a very comfortable lead, looking for their fourth win of the year. As that pitch is just high, one and oh.
Leg lift and the pitch. That's it, foul. One and one on Jacobs. Leg lift and the pitch. Down low. Two and one. Set to deal. And this is third base side, gloved by the third baseman. Throw to first, not a problem, one away. And now that'll bring up the next hitter. And it is Eaton Tuminski who came in for Mike Messier at shortstop. Actually made a nice play as well. Line up and the pitch, that one down low. Ethan Tuminski out of Ashland High School. He'll graduate in 2018. Or at least expected to. Is that pitch down low? Two and oh. Leg lift and the pitch. That is hit in the air, foul out of play. Two one pitch. That'll make it two and two. Bottom of the sixth, Ashland trailing 10 to nothing. One out in the inning. Tominski awaits the pitch. Down low, full count. Sun starting to set here at Ashland High School. First couple games of the season, first couple home games of the season for post 77 have been here at the high school due to commitments of the middle school field as this is hit to center field and Handled by Keith Lynch, two away. And this is going to bring up the next hitter. Trevor Gustafson, the designated hitter stepping in. Gustafson, one for two. Wide up and the pitch. Down low, one and oh. Mercury deals. There's strike one. Fouled away. Set to deliver, and this is hit in the air, foul. One and two. Leg lift and the pitch. Upstairs. Two and two. Mercury deals, and there's strike three. 
And that will do it for the bottom half of the sixth inning. And we will see if they will continue on to the seventh. It looks like they're going to, so stay tuned. You're watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA-TV and HCAM. Top half of the seventh inning, Ronan Bates, the new pitcher, four post 77. Devin Del Campo, who was the second pitcher of the game for Ashland, moved over to third base. There's a strike on the leadoff hitter of the inning, Dalton Coyne, the left fielder. 10-0 lead for Lowell. Wind up and the pitch, swinging strike. 0-2. Warm-up action for Lowell as well. So more than likely we'll have a relief pitcher coming in for Mike Mercury. That pitch down low, one and two. Wind up and the pitch. Just outside, two and two. Bates steals. That is fouled away. Well, after this game, Post 77 will be on the road for the next four or five games. There's strike three, one away. I'll bring up Zach Litch here, the second baseman. Pretty busy week for Post 77. They play Tuesday and Wednesday on the road against Bill Ricca and Chelmsford. There's, of course, today, Monday, June 20th. And they also have a Saturday game. Wind up and the pitch. This is up the middle and gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first, not a problem. Six to three, two away. And that'll bring up the next hitter, Keith Lynch, who is going to try to continue his perfect day, four for four. And this has been the part of the order that has given Post 77 some issues, the top of this little batting order. This game past the two hour mark now. It's been an extended affair here between Ashland and Lowell. Is that pitch inside, one and oh. Bates set to deliver. And that is a bloop shot. We'll take a hop on the infield grass. Bates the first, and that will retire the side in the seventh inning. To the bottom of the seventh we go. Post 77 down to their final three outs. Bottom of the seventh. Ashland post 77 down to their final three outs. In to close it out. On the mound is Chris Seidel. He moves over from shortstop. Max Gilman is in the game at third base. Davey LeBron moved over from third base to shortstop. And the first pitch of the bottom of the seventh is going to be handled by the second baseman for the first out of the inning. One away as Kime flies out. And making the catch there was the relief second baseman, Harrison Silva. As stepping in now is Ronan Bates, and he takes strike one. Well, unless a miracle happens, post 77 will fall to 0 and 4, and Lowell will improve to 4 and 0. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 0 and 2. And 
And it was just a very good outing on the mound for Mike Mercury. Pitched six innings, had ten strikeouts. As this is up the middle, and that is going to get through and past the second baseman. It's a single for Bates. And getting back to Mike Mercury, he had 10 strikeouts, pitched six scoreless innings, gave up two hits, walked a couple, and hit two batters as there's strike one on Brad Seymour. But overall, a very good outing for Mike Mercury. That pitch down low. Runner leading off of first. And there's another ball. Three and O to Seymour. There's a strike, three and one. One on, one out. There's strike two. Nice job battling back by Chris Seidel. Wind up and the pitch. Inside and that is going to draw the walk and put two on with one out. Michael Krupe will come up to the plate. And scratch that, we'll have a pinch hitter. Trevor DePeron will come up to the plate. And takes the first pitch there. Wide up and the pitch. Swinging strike. One and one. Seidel from the stretch awaits the sign. Upstairs, two and one. Inside, three and one. Well, you wonder if this will be a situation like in the first home game with Newton where Newton brought in the Closer in the final inning, and he struggled. And Ashland nearly got back into the game. Because now you have bases loaded with one out. As Mitch Porter will come to the plate. And this is going to bring out head coach Mike McLeod to talk to Chris Seidel. Wants to make sure post 77 gets no chance to get back into this thing. This Ashland lineup does have a lot of good hitters, so they certainly are uh, capable of putting together a rally. Obviously, they'll need a very big rally to get back into this game. Dan Hathaway is stepping to the plate, pinch hitting, or came into the game actually for Mitch Porter. Dan Hathaway out of Ashland High School, He'll graduate in 2018. Oh and one, bases loaded, one out for post 77 in the bottom of the seventh.
Wide up and the pitch. Down low. Wind up and the pitch. Swinging strike, one and two. Sean Babineau in the on-deck circle. There's a ball. Two and two. As it starts to get darker and darker here at the Ashland High School field. There's strike three, two away. Sean Babineau to the plate, the first baseman. The last hope for post 77, bases loaded, two outs. First pitch up high, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike one, one and one. He deals. Strike two, one and two. Wind up and the pitch, inside. And it, they're gonna call it a strike. Must have grabbed the corner. And that will do it as Lowell Post 87 takes down Ashland Post 77 by a final score of 10 to nothing, Mike Mercury was the starter for Lull. He went six scoreless innings, striking out 10, only giving up two hits. A great pitching performance by Mike Mercury. Lull improves to 4-0 and on the season, while Ashland falls to 0-4, and but still a long way to go as post-77 in the next couple games will look to try to rack up their first win of the season. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Ashland Legion Baseball on WACA TV in Ashland or HCAM Television in Hopkinton. Have a great night and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.